In this quick video, we will use GeoGebra to help us visualize points in three-dimensional space. Click here and we can do some 3D graphing. Traditionally, in math textbooks, the x-axis is drawn as if it's coming towards you, the y-axis is drawn to the right, and the z-axis is drawn as if it's going up. Associated with each point in three-dimensional space is a three-dimensional vector that starts at the origin and comes out to where that point is. We'll use those vector representations to help see where the points are. GeoGebra has a function called vector that you just need to tell what the starting point is, comma, what the ending point is. So here we're looking at the vector that comes out 3 over 2 and up 4. So there's the point 3, 2, 4. To help us see that a little bit better, let's take advantage of the idea that, that uh, GeoGebra does here. It's showing us what the xy plane is. That's when all of the z values are 0. And draw a plane where x is equal to 0. Okay, that's going to be the, the yz plane. And the xz plane is where the y value is equal to 0. So here we can see our point, it's sitting in this first octant. It's uh, three in this direction, two in this direction, and one up in this direction, we're seeing it here. So here's a second vector showing the point one minus two, five. It's really over in this oct, oops, <laughs> over in this octant, okay? Uh, positive in one in the x direction, two in the y direction, and five in the z direction. And for a good measure, let's look at a third point at minus two in the x direction, two in the y direction, and minus one in the z direction. So that we have to slide over into this octant to be able to see that point. So that's the idea of points in three-dimensional space.